This is the first of two semi-final matchups in this Chris Cormier series. 1997 takes on 1999. This is going to be a pretty good battle, I think. 1997 actually is doing very well for himself, I'm surprised. A little bit smaller, I might say, but perhaps a little bit more refined, a little bit more conditioned. Hard to say. This 1999 pitcher is very blurry, not very clear. And you know, I can't really base a decision unless the conditions are perfect. I mean, if I had to choose here, I might give a slight edge to 99. Those lags are a whole lot bigger, I believe. But then again, it's hard to tell from this comparison. Let's see if we can gather some more perspective from the front double by. And I must say, I am very surprised... 1997 is standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with 99 Chris Cormier and doing quite well for himself. Now, is he a better version? I'm not so sure. He is hitting a vacuum and looks a whole lot better from that vacuum. But if you really look at the lag development, I think 99 might have a better set of wheels. Hard to say. But judging by this picture here, if this was just a straight-up competition, two different men, I would definitely vote for 97 with that vacuum. But this is, is going to be a tough one, I think. I have to say, 97 is getting this shot here. Now, is he a better version? I'm not sure, but that the timing must be, I don't know, look at the striations on the legs, the feathering. He has just snapped this front lat spread. I, I recall the 97 front lat spread was blowing all the other ones out of the water as well in this competition. Like I said, timing is everything in this competition. It's all based on pitchers, so... At the end of the day, you might not really know who is the better version, but I'm telling you right now, 97 is surprising me and is definitely standing up for himself, and it is no stepping stone for 99 whatsoever. And wow, things change as they turn to the side. Like Arnold said to Franco on Pumping Iron, you see things change when you turn to the side, as it's side chest to Franco, ah <laughs> Wow, 99 is much larger. Look at the thickness, and look at the lags as well. Conditioning might be on the favor of 97, but he is far too small to deal with the likes of this side chest. This is a dominant pose for 99. And here we go with the first back comparison, this rear lat spread. Very telling tale. 97 is doing good, doing good for himself for sure. Look at the back development, the detail in them lats. Although I think a lot of that can be contributed to the the usage of the oil. He has a lot better job on the oil, I believe. But when you really look at the thick traps, and in particular the hamstrings and the glutes, it's, it's no contest, 1999. He has improved so much as Cormier. And yes, I pronounce it Cormier. I was corrected in a uh, comment section. And I'm not getting nasty here. I'm sure people pronounce it different ways. But of course, I watched the 2002 Mr. Olympian. If you notice his uh, entrance, it's done by, I believe it's Michael Buffer, Bruce Buffer. The let's get ready to rumble, that dude. Anyway, in the entrance, he called him Cormier, so... I think this get, they would know a little bit about his how to pronounce his last name for this big production. He would have corrected him, so. I think I'll take Michael Buffer's way of saying it, or perhaps Bruce Buffer, I can't remember which one. But I think I'll take his way of saying it over a random YouTuber, but I'm not getting nasty. I respect all my fans and viewers. I'm just going to continue to call him Cormier, if you don't mind. But hey, we've wasted way too much time on that topic this rear double bicep is also a dominant victory for 99. His V-taper has improved a whole lot. He always had the detail there, the muscle. But he didn't really all put it all together. Look at those hamstrings again. Fantastic. 1999, like everybody would have predicted, everybody and their dogs would have predicted the 99 Cormier is definitely taking this competition. But I must say, 97 is Darn good, darn good. This most muscular pose, it is no surprise also. 1999 is getting a victory. All the while, 97, I believe, was getting a victory in this most muscular against all the other years. 
He is full, conditioned, and just strided. Look at the lags there, the feathering. But then when you look over at 99, he is that much harder, I believe. Look at the pecs and the triceps. And he's just as conditioned. Look at the feathering in his legs as well. 99, a superior Chris Cormier, but I have to give credit to 97. Now, there is this Abanthai here, but really, it is, it's too hard to make a decision based on these two shots. 97's conditioning was crisp, perhaps getting an edge on 99, although when I look at this comparison here, 99 is very conditioned, very conditioned indeed, and probably has a few pounds on 97 as well, making him a dominant, dominant force in this matchup, and clearly the better version. And there you have it, 1999 wins one half of this tournament and advances on to the final matchup. So, as we speak, right here, right now, in another alternate universe, I guess. Actually, it's just on my channel. I posted the videos at the same time. 2002 is taking on 1998. So... Between one of those two years, we'll find an opponent for 99 for our final matchup. So, go watch the 2002 versus 90, 1998 right now. Or, if you already watched it, watch this one again. Give me a couple of views. I'm just joking. So, one to look forward to. Two to look forward to, including the main event. What am I talking about? Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day.